The technique of refluxing is used when a reaction needs to be heated at a boiling point for more than a few minutes. The reflux apparatus consists of a condenser attached to a reaction vessel, usually a round bottom flask. Place the reagent in a round bottom flask and if instructed, add 3 to 5 anti-bumping granules. Anti-bumping granules added to the reaction vessel to ensure that on boiling a steady stream of fine bubbles is produced which reduces bumping by breaking up large bubbles of gas. Secure the flask at the neck with a clamp and place it in the heating mantle. Adapters are frequently used between a condenser and a flask where the neck joints have different sizes. Fit a condenser to the flask and attach the bottom hose to the cold tap and place the upper hose in the sink. Slowly turn on the water so that a gentle stream of water is seen flowing from the top hose into the sink. Turn the heating mantle on. To avoid any violent bumping or spills, the heat should be increased gradually. Start with a gentle warming, mark 3 to 4, and wait for 5 minutes. Cold tap water circulates through the condenser jacket and vapours that are formed during the heating are cooled, condensed and returned to the flask. Thus, refluxing allows prolonged heating without the loss of reaction mixture due to the evaporation. Do not let the water flow at high pressure as this can lead to leaks at the rubber hose joints which will drip onto the heating mantle. This will cause the electric circuits in the laboratory bench to cut out. If the boiling point is not reached, turn the temperature up to 6 to 7 until boiling point is achieved. If needed, alter the temperature to maintain gentle reflux for the required time. If the heating rate has been correctly adjusted, the liquid being heated under reflux will travel partly up the condenser tube before condensing. Below the condensation point, the solvent will be seen running back into the flask. Above it, the condenser will appear dry. Remember that there should be no fumes or vapour coming out of the condenser. Avoid sitting directly in front of the apparatus if possible to avoid any violent bumping or spills. Monitor the process to ensure all is safe. When the reflux time has been reached, turn off the heating mantle. Leave the flask to cool down for 5 minutes. And when the mixture has stopped boiling, carefully raise the reaction vessel via the stand. And place the round bottom flask in a cork ring. Do not turn off or remove the condenser until the reaction vessel has cooled down to room temperature. Turn off the water tap, remove the condenser and detach the hose from the tap. Drain the hoses into the sink and leave on the side. Then remove the adapter before continuing with the instructions.